Greetings folks, Chris here, and welcome to yet another edition of Two and Proper's The Citizen Carry Channel. And folks, as you can see, we are going to be giving our impression of the Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider, chambered in both 22 and 22 long rifle. And it comes in this here attractive uh, cedar box. Civil War, 1861 to 1865 because we all know that the Confederates and the Union only use 22s. So here it is. Let's open this thing up and let's get a gander at the firearm. And it is a firearm as it shoots 22 long rifle and 22 magnum. And this one came with Coca-Bolo grips. This here is cedar box as we just pointed out and an attractive yet functional nylon holster, which the gun does fit in here. I think that's a pretty good touch. Here's your belt loop right here. And here is the firearm. So let's go ahead and stop yammering and pull out the gun. We all know that these things come with the instruction manuals. And we all know that the guns in the Old West had the writing on them to read the instructions before using. Right? Pretty sure Wyatt Earp's gun had that on it. So this is the 22 long rifle cylinder. And how you can tell right now is that you see the ribs here. Well, the 22 Magnum cylinder does not have those ribs. It's just plain. That doesn't bug me. And I've got to say that this was pretty fun to shoot. Now, folks, a lot of you know your revolvers, and a lot of you know a lot more about revolvers, especially single-action revolvers, more than me. But apparently, this is made to be like a Colt, and they got pretty close for this price point, okay? I'm saying for the price point. So let's not everybody attack me at once. For the price point, they got pretty close, right? This is a pretty hefty gun. This is 33.4 ounces. And it has the signature Colt C-O-L-T hammer drawback. See? Let's do it again for you people that like to spell. C-O-L-T. And this is a single loader. So as you can see, you pull your hammer back two times and there's your open cylinder and it goes from cylinder to cylinder. And it does so quite decisively and the tolerances feel really nice and tight. So I'm very happy about this firearm and how well put together it is for the price point. And again, this was about $180 for the 22 Magnum cylinder, the box, the holster, and the firearm. So that's a pretty good deal for people out there looking for bargains. And this was only a 22 long rifle handgun. So I was not going to uh, split hairs about little production imperfections about the handgun or whatever. What is not traditional looking on this handgun is that it has a safety. So as you can see right here, that is the safety and the safety is on. You can tell that there's a little bar right there and it's drawn across as it keeps the hammer from actually touching the firing pin. And this is safety off. So you see the red, you're dead. Now you can fire the handgun. This is today's age where everything is going to have a safety on it. And again, the writing to read the instruction manual. We have become a highly protectionist society. So even a 22 pistol has to have some sort of warning on it to protect people from themselves and the companies from litigation. So this is what we've come to. Now, I was shooting both 22 long rifle and 22 magnum. And for 22 long rifle, I was shooting the CCI mini mags. And I was also shooting the Federal HV match, both of which shot well. But I had a pocket full of 22 ammunition that I don't know where I got it. And I'm not sure how close I'm going to be able to get so that you can see the primer strikes on this without any of the rounds of this particular kind going off. Now you're asking, what kind is it? Well, I got a magnifying glass and I looked at the bottom of this and it reads super. Does anybody know what kind of 22 ammunition reads super across the bottom of it? Now, if you do, please tell us and I'll make that a sticky remark at the top of the uh, comment section so that everybody knows what kind of ammunition not to get for their Heritage Rough Riders. But None. And I had a pocket full of these from somewhere. I have no idea where I got them, but none of them fired. Everything was a primer strike and it wasn't going off. And of course, too, I've got to consider the possibility that this was probably pretty old ammunition or something. 
I've got 22 ammunition all over the place and some of it people have given to me so. So and again this shot pretty successfully with HV Batch and CCI's mini mags and for 22 Magnum I was shooting Spears Gold Dot and CCI WMRs and it shot both of those just fine. Of course you can expect that your single action revolvers or even dull action revolvers are going to shoot your rounds pretty successfully. 22 ammunition has sort of a tendency to be temperamental but uh, for the most part for something like this it wouldn't be unless you've got ammunition like these here things that say super on the bottom of them. Now as you know this is a single action revolver and this is the kind with the loading gate so you pull your loading gate open just like that and you can see there's a cylinder right there ready for a round and you just singularly load them in pass it on to the next cylinder load another one in pass it on to the next cylinder and so forth and so on now this is a good kind of handgun to teach your patience too because it's not an auto loader you have to load it just like this and unload them individually too so uh, the good thing about that is you're not squeezing off lots of rounds without even ever seeing them go by because you have to load each one of them and there you go you shut your door and you're ready to go it's a single action so the hammer must be drawn back there is no double action so it's only a single action just like a uh, 1911 except this is not a semi-automatic you have to draw the hammer back with each shot and let's go ahead and take it off safe since we've got some snap caps in there and uh, the trigger pull is, they say, six pounds. I think, yeah, about six pounds. Let's do it again. Nice tolerances, very good action here. It's very precise. For its price point, you got to be happy about that. But uh, you guys get the picture. And to unload it, it's just as easy, just practically the same way, except in reverse. You do your two clicks back, you open it up, and right here, is the ejector rod oh well I didn't need to eject that one but right here is the ejector rod on this side and you get your round in sight push your ejector rod and as you can see the ejector rod pushes the round right out and I lose them just like that one and that one and I believe that's it so there it is easy peasy and I gotta say that shooting 22 long rifle from this is uh very fun it's it's nothing there's no recoil to it at all it's almost like shooting an airsoft now shooting 22 magnum that's a different story just a little bit more recoil not a whole lot more recoil just a little bit so even inexperienced gun shooters aren't going to have a hard time because you switch to the 22 magnum because the weight of this handgun really keeps 22 magnum down so as you can see from this here side recoil footage that it really is nothing. 22 Magnum in this, 22 Magnum in most things isn't really too hard of a recoil. Even in my NAA Wasp, 22 Magnum wasn't that bad. So in this thing, being 33.7 ounces or 33.4 ounces, nothing. So it was very fun to shoot. And it was relatively accurate, or I've got to say, this thing is probably very accurate. I was relatively accurate so but you'll see that because I'm gonna play a little bit of shooting footage after all this talking but so far so good with this now changing the cylinders in this is not a problem all right so changing out the cylinder on the Rough Rider is not hard go back two clicks one two or CO and then you can see that there's a spring pin right here that you can push in right there push that in and when you're pushing that in, pull out this rod here, right? Came from here. So pull that out, set it aside, and then your cylinder should just come right out just like that. Get your other cylinder, which in this case, this is the 22 Magnum cylinder. Move your uh, loading gate out of the way here. Uh, put your cylinder in just like this. Make sure it's lined up, push in the pin. Hopefully the rod goes in like it's supposed to. Bingo, it did. All the way in. And you're ready to disco. Now you've changed it. So as you can see, this is a very good, versatile, fun family shooter, right? And since it does not look like a dangerous AK-47 or a scary AR-15, the whole family can have fun with this guilt-free. I recommend it. It's very fun. Now I will probably be getting one other cowboy type gun and that will probably be a 45 long colt 
coming up. I'm not sure when, but it's going to happen sometime. But for now, this pot metal single action revolver with the Coco Bolo grips has been the Heritage Rough Rider. And folks, while we're on about all this, don't forget to check us out on Patreon. That's Too Improper on Patreon. I used to be called the Too Improper channel, and now I'm the Citizen Carry channel. But it's Too Improper Citizen Carry channel, if I've got to say those things too many more times. Our heads are probably going to explode. But too improper on Patreon. As you guys know that there has been a massive squelching of Second Amendment enthusiasts and gun channels. Conservatives in general are not welcome in the big media world. So they have begun the decommercialization of us and have largely demonetized us to the point of being ineffective. And this is where the people that care about the Second Amendment and gun enthusiasts come in. Too improper on Patreon for just a dollar a month or three dollars a month. You won't even see it coming out of your paycheck. You will be helping another Second Amendment enthusiast like yourself get the word out there. And I can bring on more guns, equipment, gear, and things like that. Too improper on Patreon. And also, don't forget to look up Too Improper on WordPress. The link will be in the description below for that, too. That is the written blog. Believe it or not, this Neanderthal can write. So, folks... I appreciate you watching. This has been the Heritage Rough Rider 22 version. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak right now. That's 2improper at gmail.com. Write and I will answer you, provided you're going to be polite about whatever it is you have to say, and I'll answer you also if I have the time. Thanks for watching, folks. God bless America, and keep on protecting your families, yourselves, your country, its flag, and its honor. It's the patriotic thing to do. And anyone with a brain in their head knows it's the right thing to do.